As we look toward the future, we need to acknowledge both our achievements and the challenges that lie ahead. Sub-Saharan Africa has made remarkable progress since the 1990s, yet today 37 million more people are without basic water supply and 247 million more lack basic sanitation compared to the year 2000. Over half of our schools and healthcare facilities lack access to water, sanitation and hygiene, known as WASH. This impacts our most vulnerable – children, women and girls. The social and economic costs are staggering, but we've started to identify what's missing. Incremental changes won't be sufficient. We need a comprehensive, programmatic approach that brings sustainable change. Public funding is essential, but alone it won't be enough. We need to tap into private finance, microfinance and climate finance. Development partners must collaborate more effectively to maximize impact. The good news? We've already made breakthroughs. Some countries have achieved universal access to energy, and others have excelled in decentralized service delivery in health and education. And within the WASH sector, we're seeing utilities reach credit worthiness and unprecedented cooperation among different ministries. These successes provide a blueprint for what's possible. The key is to view WASH as a system, a network of interconnected elements that need to work in harmony. Now is the time to act boldly. We need to scale our efforts, transform public institutions, mobilize the private sector and energize communities, all underpinned by strong leadership. Are we ready to make commitments for our countries? Absolutely. Let's unite to achieve universal access to WASH for all. The time for action is now.